The proof is in the tater. I'm not sure what happened to my potatoes this year. They didn't flower like they normally do. They kind of just died, a lot of them. These are the ones that I actually planted in the ground. And the far side are the ones that I put on top of the ground and dumped a whole bunch of leaves on top. Don't know if all of them are good or if they've got some sunlight on them. We'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these up and see what we got. Ho oh, ho! Ew. Um, bug damage. That's not cool. No. What the heck happened to these? Bugs. Well, still got, I'm going to still take all of these and weigh them because I want to know what made the most weight. Definitely didn't do so great with the bugs. Not sure what ate on them. I think I had problems with that on this bed last year right here. The further away from this point was better. So I'm not going to do potatoes here next year. Alright, I need something more to get to them. All right, switching to the red. It should be everything on this side should be the red potatoes. Oh yeah, that one looks good. Cool. Red tater, red tater. I love these red potatoes. I haven't had a problem with them. Not a single one so far out of the years. Oh, there's one little bite on it. <sighs> Look at that thing. It's insane. The older I get, the more I realize that the slower I'm trying to do things in life. Because sometimes it takes time to do things right and actually not waste time. Because if you do things too quick, yeah, you got it done, but did you get it done right? And if you didn't get it done right, all the time you come out watering and doing stuff like that can be a waste. Red potatoes like crazy. For days. I think that's all the red ones. So I haven't seen a potato in a minute. That should change over to the white ones again, right here. There they are. Yeah, those look a lot better than the other side. All right. 
I'm just harvesting them all right now. Because otherwise, I won't know what actually did better for the time that they had to grow. I want it to be as fair as possible for the test. Woo! That one looks good. Yes! I think it is those guys. I see them in there. Some kind of worm thing. I'm gonna look that up. Throw that over there. That one looks like it may have got some sunlight. Whoa, I didn't see this one. I don't have gigantic hands, but those are pretty good. That one's starting to eyeball. I may plant that one back somewhere else and this one. All right, I don't need that rock anymore. These are the ones that I just stuck up on the ground, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> I'm liking bear not burying them so far. All the potato, the only problem is I think some of them got to the sun a little bit. So I probably need to throw on more leaves or something else to keep the sun off of them. But the potatoes just grew like crazy. The ones that it made. And they're so much more easy to harvest. I want you out of the garden. Ah, come on. Goodbye. Yeah, that one definitely got some sun. All right. That should be good. All right, this is what I'm talking about. How easy was that? These potatoes are so much easier to get to. You just barely run your hand through, and there they are. They just come up a lot less damage to them. Probably need to throw that stuff over that way. Look at that. Those are beautiful. No dirt really on them to wash off even. They look to be the same size or if not bigger than the other ones. I don't know if it's producing as many. I'll probably, probably count to see what they do. But if they just produce easier to get out of the ground without digging up the soil, that's a benefit in itself. Don't have to disturb it. The old potato seems like it dries up instead of turns into a mush, which is kind of nice. Oh, here's another one. This is going to be the potatoes that have been attacked by junk and it's really kind of gnarly looking. This is the first ones that I got. That's ten and a half pounds. Ten and a half pounds. I should have brought a pen. I'll be right back. So the first second 
potatoes was 10 and a half, 10 and a half pounds. All right, the second one, should I, let's see. No, I'm gonna do the, this is the red potatoes. That is about nine and a half, I would just say, make it easier. All right, keep these separate from the others. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so number three is 14 pounds. Oh, yeah, that one still is definitely heavier. And number four is ten and a half pounds. All right, so this one is in ground and it only got ten and a half pounds, but of course some of them were damaged or a lot of them by bugs. And this one is in ground and it's the red one and that's nine and a half pounds. So, on the ground, I just put them on the ground and threw leaves on it, pretty much all I did. They came out, the white potatoes, 14 pounds even. So that's a good bit more of what, three and a half pounds more potato. So that's pretty good. Um, and on ground for the red, we got a pound more just laying them on top of the ground. The proof is in the tater.